What's up guys? My name is Reed. Welcome to Backward Anglers. And today, my mom and dad just got back from a trip to New Orleans. Uh, I'll actually show you some one other thing they got me. They got me this uh, Saints necklace and this uh, Fleur de Lis New Orleans magnet. And then the main part of this video and the fishing related part is they got me this crappie sidekick bass special fishing box and we're going to be opening it uh here in well just a few seconds after i show you the crappie psychic card the crappie psychic um llc they are based out of Raceland, Louisiana. Uh, there's their information. They do have a Facebook. I hope this is focusing. Um, if it doesn't focus, it says our trailers make them bite right here. And it basically has just a googly eyed crappie looking at this, uh, this little uh, tube, I think is what that is. Or like a little Ned rigged tube. I don't know, but uh, yeah, there's their card. And uh, I'm, I'm in kind of hunting stuff, but. Or I'm in hunting gear. But um, anyway, here it is. Let's get started. So it comes nice and wrapped up. Ooh, take. You see the most, the easiest way to get this done, take this tag off, and then, I'm sorry for that noise of all of this plastic crinkling. Uh, looks like it has one of those little, these little ties on it. I'll show it to you guys once I get, show you guys, I'll show it to you guys once I get it off. Uh, if you hear a waterfall, I have a fish tank right here, like, I'm hitting the glass with my finger now. Uh, it's a 55 gallon tank, there's no fish in it yet. Uh, I will be showing it on video once I get the fish in it, but um, Okay, here we go. There is the little silver and gold uh, ribbon. Put that over there. We have one more of these little ties. It's kind of just like a little bread tie. I'll show you, I'll show you guys it right now. I just have to get it all the way off. I'm struggling here. This is very nice to package, but it's just a little silver bread tie. Um, gotta clean up after myself. There's another one of those ties and ribbon in the floor. But um, we're gonna remove the lock from the package and. Uh, Let's get into it. I'm gonna set the box on the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna set the box on this floor right here. And we'll slowly go over everything. Uh, nice little crappie psychic camo and orange koozie. It smells like that plastic. I don't know why, but I like the smell of that plastic. Um, I have a water bottle here, so just for, just for fun. Boom. The crappie psychic. Nice little koozie. It's not normally what you see in a koozie, but. There we go. There's item one. Uh, I'm not gonna move all that yet. Uh, then we have high performance uh, shaky heads. 
Uh, these are 3 16th ounce. These are 3 16th. Some nice little shaky heads with the screw. Pretty good. So some shaky heads. Once again, this is called the Bass Special by Croppy Psychic. My mother got, they were heading to New Orleans and stopped in Biloxi, Mississippi. And went to this like Christmas thing. Just like a uh, big party Christmas shop ordeal. And uh, that's where she got this. Uh, anyway, we have, uh, it says not for human consumption. That's just letting you guys know. But this is called a trout trailer. So I guess this is uh, all baits too. But it's a 10 count of these little tiny worms. And they're flavored with our new psychic sauce, is what they say. Flavored with our new psychic sauce, trout trailers. I, I like it. It looks like it's called, uh, it says something, Lagniopi? Laganopi? I, I don't know. But yeah, there we go. I just hit the thing the camera's on. Sorry if that moved you guys. We have some more of these little tin count flavored with our new psychic sauce uh, trout trailers. Pretty cool. This is a pink version. Uh, I'd call this like, uh, this is like a translucent green. I'm going to grab these. Oh, we have a, we have some big boys. We have some green worms. These are actually pretty cool looking. They're weirdly shaped. I'll have to get those out of the package here in a second and show you guys a more up close look. All this stuff is gonna go right into my tackle box. Here's a white version of the that same worm. It has a thick round head on one end. Or thick round head on one end. And then this kind of square body. It's pretty, pretty interesting. I like it. Uh, looks like we have a pink version of that worm, too. Um, I've never really used pink worms or pink lures, but, uh, definitely wanted to give it a try. Um, I do trout fish a lot in the, arc in the Little Red River. So, boom. Fish in Heber Springs, Arkansas at the Little Red River. Uh, most of the time we go to Lindsay's Resort, if any of you know where that's at. But um, we have some more 3 16th shaky heads. So, got some more shaky heads. Not much you can say, shaky heads always a good go-to. I can't tell if this is navy or black. It looks like it might be navy. I don't know. You guys tell me. I think it's navy. But it has gold flecks on it. I think it's navy and gold. But, um, or dark blue and gold. Anyway, some more of these, uh, compared to my hand, it's a pretty long worm. And just compared to one of my fingers, like just one of the worms, it's a pretty, I got big hands and it's, it's a pretty wide worm too. These are, these are a nice bulky bait. Um, let's see what else we got deep down in here. Ooh, that's cool. Got a little frog. I always smell my, my soft plastic, see what they're scented with. Got a nice little frog. I was really close to the camera, that's why I'm stepping back, but uh, it's got this cool pattern on it. Let that focus. Let's get this cool little pattern on the bottom. It's a two color frog. It's not sending anything, it just smells like um, that the plastic they use. Uh, we have another pack of these large worms. I really like these large worms. I'm excited to try these out. And I have a lot of tackle. A tackle overview is coming soon. A video of a tackle overview will be out uh, probably a week from now. We've been kind of inactive, but uh, I'll explain why that is at the end of all this, but uh, 
anyway, uh, more of these little, I, I want to say eight inch, six inch or eight inch worms. <coughs> Very cool little square body design. I'm not sure if it doesn't say a brand. I assume they're crappie psychic though. Uh, here is a black, just an all black version of the exact same worm. There's a lot of these worms in here, but I am a very big worm fisherman. So is my partner, Colton. Uh, Watson, as you guys know, I'm on this channel. But, um, he is very, very, very good at worm fishing. So I'll definitely show him all those. Worm fishing is his specialty. Um, looks like we got another bit of those trout trailers. This is a purple version. Um, not much to say about that. Just a, I mean, a small little, looks like about three inch worm. Uh, some more of these big boys. This is by one of my favorite colors that I've seen they have. And I'm going to pull one of these out here in just a second. I'm going to make sure we don't have any more baits left. This is quite a few baits. Um, the Crappie Psychic LLC. It doesn't say what this bait is called, but it's a like a three inch paddle tail swim bait in pink. I don't know, let me get up close. Can you guys see that? The little paddle tail on the back with the swim bait body. That's really cool. I like the design of the three inch swim bait. Oh, it's called a petite minnow. It says it on the back, petite minnow. This is a, this is a hold up three, this is an eight count. Yeah, this is an eight count of these little like four inch petite minnows. Um, see what else we got here. Looks like we got another package of petite minnows. This is in a whew, nice bright yellow or chartreuse. That's really cool. Um, then we got a sticker. I'll put that on the wall up there next to the Berkeley. I'm putting all my fishing brands and stickers and stuff up on the wall. Um, I don't know. I'm, I really like this brand so far. I like I like their ideas. I like the uh, I like the uh, petite minnow. It's a very very different bait. So I think it's a smart idea to have a small little paddle tail. However, it did come with this stuff, so I'm trying to be careful and not knock this all over my floor. Because I don't feel like sweeping today. And, uh, real quick, I'm going to show you guys me putting this sticker up. Um, and then I'll grab one of these uh, baits out, one of these worms out, and we'll show you that. So right here, we got a crappie magnet sticker, or not crappie magnet, um, crappie psychic. Crappie magnet is a different brand that I have a sticker of at my dad's house. But anyway, this is a crappie psychic sticker, and it is going to join the Berkeley sticker up here. So let me set the camera back down right over here. I'm gonna undo the sticker. Here we go. Um, but yeah, I think it's a really creative idea to have something like this, a short little paddle tail. This is quite a lot of stuff. But, um... Uh, let me get the sticker done. Is this a sticker or am I just crazy? Am I, am I just bad at stickers? I'm... I'm losing my mind. I have a lot of hair. Um, oh, there we go. It finally did it. Okay, got the crop, got the crappie psychic. The crappie psychic sticker. We're gonna grab the camera, bring it right over here, and 
Crappie Magnet is going to join Berkeley up on the wall. Looks beautiful. Okay. Anyway. I appreciate you guys watching this. We're gonna yank one of these crappie, crappie psychic uh, worms out. Nice little plastic packages. I'm gonna try to be semi careful with it. I'm not. That way I can just throw these plastic packages in this uh, in a pouch in my tackle box instead of having to put them in a one of the plastic boxes. Um, here we go. We'll just grab this guy right here. Give you guys a closer look at their worm design. It's a big bulb head right there with a square, a square shaped body. It has grooves on all on all the sides. I don't know if you guys can see it that closely. Let me see. Let me back up so it focuses on that. I don't know if that focused. I hope it did. But, uh, and then it comes down to this little tiny end here. I would, uh, assume you just Texas rig this. Draw, or take that. That'd be like, a, that'd be a good place to stick the hook on a drop shot rig. Let this just kind of float like that in the water. You can pick the right color, obviously. But, uh, you can throw this guy back in the package. It's, oh, drop the package. Um, but yeah, shout out to Crappie Psychic out of Raceland, Louisiana. Uh, this is a very, these are very cool baits. I'm excited to try them. I will hope, I'll hopefully have a video of us fishing soon. I got a GoPro, so I'll be able to put that on the boat and get a couple clips of us fishing. I'll probably wear it. I have a hat on when we fish, so I'll probably put it right here where this logo is and it'd be looking out, but uh, I'm just gonna put the hat over there for my end of the video. Um, yeah, so there's not much else to say. Uh, big fan of Crappie Psychic. Um, there's one last look at the card. And, yeah, this is just, uh, these are really cool, really creative baits. I like supporting companies that aren't as big as, like, Berkeley and Strike King and stuff like that. I like, I like getting new baits. I like looking at new baits. Or people like, like Guggen or Zoom. I like looking at these smaller companies and... I don't know. I really like this uh, crappie psychic bait. I really like these crappie psychic baits. Uh, they're pretty, pretty creative. My favorite will probably have to be the petite minnow, just because uh, the petite minnow. It's a very creative bait. A small paddle tail is a good idea, and I'll probably take this to Lake Conway and throw these around for some crappie. But, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys watching, and I can't get this back in the package, but I'll do it off camera. I appreciate you guys watching. Have a good day. Bye.